The Mules and Jennies track and field teams hosted the UC and Mule Relays last Friday and Saturday. Uh, hit a couple big provisional marks on both sides here with head coach Kirk Peterson. Uh, coach, on the women's side, on day one we saw um, Zoe, Zoe Sharplin win the uh, pentathlon to kind of start things off, the, earn the provisional mark there, uh, along with a couple others. Uh, give us uh, your thoughts on that. Well, day. you know, it's, it, it's, uh, Mule Relays has been, a, been an event in this building since basically when it opened in 1976. And, it's good to see the the, the meet uh, go on, and uh, you know we had a lot of entries. We had over 1,100 entries in the two days, and we've added the uh, pentathlon, heptathlon here in recent years. So it's a lot of track and field going on. Uh, but yes, uh, Zoe Sharplin uh, definitely uh, put herself in a good situation to qualify for nationals. So that was kind of the highlight of day one, uh, getting her in, in that position. So really outstanding effort on her part. Uh, for the mules on day two, we had a couple big highlights. Uh, starting with Brent Vogel hitting, I believe there's three provisionals with the 60 meter hurdles, the pole vault, and the, uh, uh, he hit the provisional twice in the hurdles and the prelims of the final. Right. Three all together. So he had a big day. Um, along with him you had uh, uh, Laban Cialo provisionally in the 3,000 while also setting a new uh, building record. Uh, talk about some of the highlights for you on that. Well, Brent, Brent Vogel definitely would be a highlight. Uh, you know, he, he leading the nation with his mark in the heptathlon from earlier uh, in the year. Um, and so on, on Saturday, we just had him in some individual events and, and you know, three personal bests for him, um, starting with, with uh, the hurdle race, uh, you know, uh, putting him on the national list in that, putting him in on the national list in the pole ball and then uh, the 800. So he's roughly ranked uh, 20th in each of those events. Uh, and so that that's really a you know a great spot for him to be in right now, and and uh, his mark in the heptathlon is probably going to get better if he continues with improvement in those events and, and other events. So definitely uh, Brent, uh, a highlight uh, of of Saturday, uh, Lavin Cialo, uh, you know, set a building record and and uh, put him top ten in the nation in the three thousand meter run. That's a new event in our national meet. So. Uh, not sure where that's going to end up, but uh, but a good race for him. And, and uh, Dalton Moberly also had a very good race in there as, as an unattached runner. And, and Dalton will be back for our outdoor season um, with the Mules. So uh, great to see him running well again right now. And, and so, uh, yeah, some good things there. Uh, now next week you're going to take the teams up north to uh, the Iowa State Classic. Uh, it's a meet you've been to a couple times before. Uh, what's going to be your guys' kind of plan for what you're going to do in that meet? Well, it's uh, you know it's a quality meet. It's uh, typically uh, Division One only with with a few scattered Division Two athletes. They take the top so many in each event, and so we're not going to be able to get our whole team up there. We're going to have a select few up there, uh, athletes that are trying to uh, qualify for nationals uh, in that setting is is a, a pretty good environment for that. So that'll be kind of the key for that and and. Uh, you know, I'm looking forward to getting on the big track up there, a 300 meter track, and uh, running fast and, and seeing some very good competition. All right, Mules and Unis up at Iowa State next week. Coach, thanks. Thank you.